Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Craig here. It's a good morning here in Arlington. The coffee is brewed. This morning, we're drinking some uh, breakfast blend. Breakfast blend from Cameron's. Uh, a good morning blend. Well, it's good to be with you today again as we uh, continue to talk about authority. You know, authority can sometimes get out of control, and authority can go to someone's head, so to speak. Authority is really only true, wise, good, godly authority when it's in the hands of a benevolent person. And we see this nowhere clearer than in Scripture. When authority is in the hands of Jesus, it is wrapped in benevolence, in kindness, in power, in strength, but in grace. Today, we look at God's ability, his authority to forgive. Nowhere does it come out more clearly and directly than in Matthew chapter 9. Listen to these words. And getting into a boat, he crossed over and came into his own city. And behold, some people brought to him a paralytic lying on a bed. And when Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Take heart, my son, your sins are forgiven. And behold, some of those around him said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. But Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, Why do you think evil in your hearts? For which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven you, or rise and walk? But so that you will know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he then said to the paralytic, Rise, pick up your bed, and go home. And he rose and went home. And when the crowd saw it, they were afraid, and they glorified God, who had given such authority to men. The authority to forgive sins. Not just to forgive sins, but to forget sins. Scripture says he casts our sins as far as the east is from the west. That's total forgiveness. He gives to us his own righteousness, his own grace. Isn't it wonderful that we serve a God who has the authority to forgive our sins, whatever they may be? There are too many people walking around carrying a, a load of sin and guilt with the idea that God could never forgive them. Well, I'm here to tell you that he has spoken loud and clear through his son, Jesus Christ. Through his death and resurrection, he came to speak authoritatively to all those who bear the mark of sin and the guilt and shame that comes with it. He comes and says, so that you know I have the authority to forgive sins on earth. Rise and walk. Walk away from the guilt, walk away from the shame you are forgiven in the name of Jesus. And that's true godly authority. Hey, I hope that you have a great day today. It looks like it's going to be a good day here in Arlington. The coffee's brewed. My cup is full. <sighs> Doesn't get much better than that. Hey, before we go, let's have a brief prayer this morning. Heavenly and gracious God, we thank you for meeting with us today, as always. We thank you for the authority that you have, the authority to call us to follow after you, the authority that we could ask you for anything, the authority that you can ask of us. But best of all, we thank you for the authority to forgive our sins. We pray that you would help us to walk into that authority that you would allow us to rest in that authority and that grace. Be with us this day and all those that we care for. We lift them up in Jesus' strong name. Amen. Well, you have a good morning, everyone. And um, we'll see you either later this week or next week, depending on um, what the mood strikes. But for today, you have a great Wednesday. Blessings.